So, guys, in the last session, we were discussing regarding the concept of plant kingdom, right? So, today we are going to discuss the other concepts of plant kingdom. Fine. So, let us proceed. Okay, so in the last session, we were discussing the certain concepts on algae and certain concepts of bryophytes too. Today, we are going to handle regarding the concept of pteridophytes, gymnosperms, angiosperms, and we are solving a lots of multiple choice questions on the plant kingdom. Be ready, be ready with your chat box. Feel free to ask the questions, guys. So, uh, let me cover some points of the synopsis now. Then later, I will solve the MCQs. Okay. Yes, YouTube students. I hope the screen is visible to everyone. Yeah. Okay, so regarding the bryophytes, what we have to learn, these are also called as uh, amphibians of plant kingdom. Why? Because at certain time of life cycle, our uh, bryophytes in Jeevita Avadhyali, some part they will uh, be present, they will live in the water, mainly reproductive phase only, they will live in the water. That is why bryophytes are called as amphibians of plant kingdom. Fine. So, they usually occur in damp, humid and shaded localities. They play an important role in plant succession on bare rocks or soil. Next, we have here structure. Hai hai. So, structure of bryophytes is not like a algae. It is not completely attached, completely flat. It will be having certain erect condition, erected parts. So, really now, uh, note bow do. erected parts. Andre, Vertical like this, upright. Hmm? He gets straight agi male kare. How da? So, and attached to the substratum by unicellular or multicellular rhizoids. So, illi navu stem like, root like, leaf like structures anna note ve. Adar actually avu root to stem mu leaves iro dilla. A thara hai iru a rachane gada agirtha ve. Okay na? So, like the roots. These also have certain structures which are referred as rhizoids. They may possess root-like, leaf-like or stem-like structure. The main plant body of bryophyte is haploid, which is the main question here. Main point here, haploid in nature, Andre, no, single set of chromosomes, iruva, body, means the main plant body will be haploid. Human beings too, the main plant body is diploid. Namely, two sets of chromosomes are Right. It produces gametes. Hence, it is called gametophyte. The main plant body is Idrali haploid. And the single set of chromosomes is karana. Ide body is the It produces the gametes. So, the gametes formation is the same. The meiotic division is the same. reduction division is the same. Uh, step because the plant body itself is haploid. So, it will directly produce the gametes. The sex organs in bryophytes are multicellular. Sex organs in it. For example, male sex organ as well as female sex organ. Yerudu organs galu atwa yerudu parts galu illi many celled. That is, one the kinta hechu jiva kosha galana hundi rate anta healthy. Reproduction anta bandaga. The male sex organ is called as antheridium. The male uh, gametes are called as anthrazoids. The female sex organ ge archegonium and the LTV, it will be having single one and only egg. Anthrazoids in aktave, atwa sperms, male gametes in aktave. So they will be released in a water. How da? So waterly release ad mele, they will be chemically attracted by the archegonium. Ad hege archegonium. Atwa female reproductive part hatrane heg bartha vendre by the secretion of certain chemicals which attract that anthrozoids 
which attracts that male sex cells towards the archegonium. What is archegonium? Female reproductive part. After that, the anthrozoites are released. The anthrozoite fuses with the egg to produce zygote. Zygote formation aita. Zygote formation admele direct agi zygote anodu. It will not undergo reduction division. Meiosis ge direct agi do meiotic division ge agalandre diploid agirate. That is n plus n gamete male gamete has n set of chromosome. Female gamete has n set of chromosome. So yerdu seri zygote ali ni rathe two n ni rathe andre. Uh, deployed set to the telva two yen irate just a minute two yen so two yen nad mele adre the main plant body of bryophyte is haploid the zygote is deployed then how we will get the haploid body so suddenly it will not undergo reduction division or a meiotic division that zygote will produce certain specialized structure. Our specialized structure is sporophyte. It is called as sporophyte, guys. Next, the sporophyte it is not free living. If this is a gametophyte, the sporophyte will grow on this. The sporophyte will grow on the gametophyte itself. So, this sporophyte this will be independent dependent on gametophyte for its nutrition the sporophyte is not free living some cells of sporophyte undergo reduction division sporophyte alliruva kelowondishtu jeeva koshagalu or some part of cells that will undergo meiotic division what is meiotic division reduction of chromosome number andre chromosome number exactly half agate cell division alli alva so, only some cells will undergo meiotic division. That is some cells which underwent meiotic division. So, other linear meiotic 2n no meiotic division it will be getting n number of chromosome and a single set of chromosome. So, these uh, cells which undergo uh, meiotic division, they will produce spores which are called as haploid spores. These haploid spores, when they germinate, these will produce again new bryophytic body, which is gametophyte. This is regarding the beautiful life cycle of the uh, bryophytes, guys. Here comes bryophytes in general, economic importance kadame irate, but some mosses, bryophytes ali mosses are no division, uh, one type in the classification ali. So in Marate, it provides food for herbaceous mammals, birds, and other animals. Species of sphagnum, sphagnum is a moss, it provides peat. Again, last time I discussed it, then classification antabandaga, the classified into liverworts and mosses. Liverworts usually asexually produce a madadu gemme anno structure in the, here you can see the gemme, not here, this one is a gemme, see these are the gemme cups. Then during sexual reproduction in Agathe, male and female sex organs are produced either on the same or different phalli. The sporophyte is differentiated into sporophyte in Agathe. So sporophytally, you can see the parts. Food, sita and capsule and no pots and an avel norteve, sporophytal norteve. Mosses ali bandaga. Mosses is also one of the classification of bryophyte. Here, moss, uh, the predominant stage of gametophyte is at Adre, that gametophyte will be having two stages. One is protonema, the other one is filamentous stage. Protonema antandre, it develops directly from a spore. Okay. So here you can see, uh, just okay, fine. This is a capsule, sita, and put. Reproduction, common examples antabandaga, funeria, polytrichum, and sphagnum. So let us solve some questions on bryophytes as well as pteridophytes. Okay. Uh, be active, guys. Be interactive. Feel free to answer the questions. Sumne answer Martha Hogbedi. I think 61 in just a minute.
Okay, the next question goes like this. Be active in your chat box, all of you. The plant body is thyroid in which of the following? Funaria, Spagnum, Salvinia, Markensia. Yes, guys. The plant body is thyroid in which of the following? Funaria, the thyroid body. The thyroid under there are no roots, leaves as well as shoot. So the plant body is thyroid in which structure? Funaria, Spagnum, Salvinia, Markensia. Yes, YouTube students, be fast. Guys, be fast. I am waiting in the chat box. Who is going to answer this first? Rashmi is here. Sanjay is here. Sita, HGD is here. Shri Suraj, he is here. Rashmi answered as option D. Okay, what about others? Yes, what about others? Be fast, be fast. Yes, YouTube students. Rashmi answered it. Sanjay M, Sita G D, Sri Suresh, Dhanush H M. Who is going to answer this? Is Sanjay answered it? Sri Suresh answered it. So most of you answered as option A. Some of you voted for option D. Anta, let me check the answer. The right answer is option D. Mark and Shia. So Mark and Shia no they know. The plant body, it is a bryophyte. It is a liverwort. Bryophyte is liverwort. It is haploid in nature. Dorsoventary flattened. Thalo structure. Dichotomous. Each branch is called branches. Fixed by a unicellular and unbranched rhizoids. So the example is Markensia. Sorry. So the exam, uh, the answer is here, Markensia. Option D is a right answer. Next question. What is common in all three? Funaria, Dryopteris, Mate Jinko. Funaria, Dryopteris, Mate Jinko Dalli. Common Nagirodu Eno. Independent sporophyte. Presence of Archegonia. Well-developed vascular tissues. Independent gametophyte. Yes, who is going to answer this first? Be fast, guys. Yeah. What is common in all three? Funaria, Dryopteris. Yes, YouTube students. And Jingo. Yes, Rashmi, Sanjay, Shri Suresh, Dhanush HM. Sanjay answered it very good. What about others? Be fast, guys. Answer quickly. <coughs> Rashmi R answered it. What about others? Only two of them. Only two of them. What about others? Yes, YouTube students. What is common in all three funaria, dryopteris and jingo? They asked. Let us check the answer here. The right answer is presence of archegonia. Presence of archegonia will be there in all three uh, structures or in all three examples. Independent sporophyte, well-developed vascular tissues, you can see in Jingo only. Independent gametophyte, you can see in Funaria. Okay, so like that, these are not a common characteristics. Common na denu, female sex organ ge archegonia anta karitare. So that is a common character. So option B is a right answer there. Option B is a right answer. Yes, yes, be fast. Next question. Which one of the following is wrongly matched? 
ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಕೆಲವೊಂದಿಷ್ಟು ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ರಾಂಗ್ ಆಗಿ ಮ್ಯಾಚ್ ಆಗಿರುವುದು ಯಾವುದು ನಾಸ್ಟಾಕ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಬ್ಲೂಮ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕರೀತಾರೆ ಅದೇ ರೀತಿ ಸ್ಪೈರೋಗೈರ ಮೊಟೈಲ್ ಗ್ಯಾಮೆಟ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಹೊಂದಿರುತ್ತೆ ಸಾರ್ಗ್ಯಾಸಮ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ಲೋರೋಫಿಲ್ ಸಿ ಬೆಸಿಡಿಯೋ ಮೈಸಿಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಪಫ್ ಬಾಲ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ರಾಂಗ್ಲಿ ಮ್ಯಾಚ್ಡ್ ಯಾವುದು ರಾಂಗ್ ಆಗಿ ಮ್ಯಾಚ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಎಸ್ ದ ಕ್ವಿಕ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಬೈ ಸಂಜಯ್ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಬಿ ಫಾಸ್ಟ್ ಗೈಸ್ ಬಿ ಫಾಸ್ಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಯೂಟ್ಯೂಬ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ರಶ್ಮಿ ಆರ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ಡ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಚೆಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ದ ರೈಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಈಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸ್ಪೈರೋ ಗೈರಾ ಮೊಟೈಲ್ ಗ್ಯಾಮೆಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಸ್ಟಾಕ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಬ್ಲೂಮ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನಾಸ್ಟಾಕ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗ್ರೋ ಇನ್ ಸಚ್ ಅ ವೇ ದಟ್ ದ ಇಟ್ ಫೀಲ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಬ್ಲೂಮ್ ಗ್ರೀನ್ ತರ ಕಾಣಿಸುತ್ತೆ ದೆನ್ ಸರ್ಗ್ಯಾಸಮ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ಲೋರೋಫಿಲ್ ಸಿ ಬೆಸಿಡಿಯೋಮೈಸಿಟ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಪಫ್ ಬಾಲ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಪೈರೋ ಗೈರಾ ಮೊಟೈಲ್ ಗ್ಯಾಮೆಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಅಂದಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಸೊ ಸ್ಪೈರೋ ಗೈರಾದಲ್ಲಿ ಮೊಟೈಲ್ ಗ್ಯಾಮೆಟ್ಸ್ ಇರೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಸಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸೈನೋ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಟೀರಿಯಾ ನಾಸ್ಟಾಕ್ ಗ್ರೋ ಇನ್ ಗ್ರೋ ಇನ್ ಸಚ್ ಅಬಂಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಬ್ಲೂಮ್ಸ್ ಸರ್ಗ್ಯಾಸಮ್ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ಸ್ ಟು ಬ್ರೌನ್ ಅಲ್ಗೆ ವಿಚ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ಲೋರೋಫಿಲ್ ಎ ಸಿ ಕೆರೆಟಿನಾಯ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಜಾಂಥೋಫಿಲ್ ಕಾಮನ್ಲಿ ನೋನ್ ಆಸ್ ಬೆಸಿಡಿಯೋಮೈಸಿಟ್ಸ್ ಪಫ್ ಬಾಲ್ಸ್ ಗೆ ಮೆಸಿಡಿಯೋಮೈಸಿಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಇನ್ ಸ್ಪೈರೋ ಗೈರಾ ದ ಗ್ಯಾಮೆಟ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ನಾನ್ ಫ್ಲೆಜಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ದ ಗ್ಯಾಮೆಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಮೂವ್ ಸೊ ದೇ ಆರ್ ನಾನ್ ಮೊಟೈಲ್ ಬಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಸ್ಪೈರೋ ಗೈರಾ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಮೊಟೈಲ್ ಗ್ಯಾಮೆಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದ ರೈಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಈಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಬಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೇ ಆಸ್ಕ್ಡ್ ರಾಂಗ್ಲಿ ಮ್ಯಾಚ್ಡ್ ಪೇರ್ ಅವರು ತಪ್ಪಾಗಿ ಜೋಡಿಸಿರುವಂತಹ ಪದ ಯಾವುದು ಅಂತ ಕೇಳಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಸೊ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಬಿ ಸ್ಪೈರೋ ಗೈರಾ ವಿಚ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಮೊಟೈಲ್ ಗ್ಯಾಮೆಟ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ರಾಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಬಿ ಫಾಸ್ಟ್ ಯೂಟ್ಯೂಬ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಶೋಸ್ ಐಸೋ ಗ್ಯಾಮಿ ವಿತ್ ನಾನ್ ಫ್ಲೆಜಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಗ್ಯಾಮೆಟ್ಸ್ ಕೆಳಗಡೆ ಇರೋ ಯಾವ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಐಸೋ ಗ್ಯಾಮಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ನಾನ್ ಫ್ಲೆಜಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಗ್ಯಾಮೆಟ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಆ ಮೋಡ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಅನ್ನ ಎಕ್ಸಿಬಿಟ್ ಮಾಡತ್ತೆ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಎ ಸರ್ಗ್ಯಾಸಮ್ ಬಿ ಎಕ್ಟೋಕಾರ್ಪಸ್ ಸಿ ಯುಲೋಥ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಡಿ ಸ್ಪೈರೋ ಗೈರಾ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಐಸೋ ಗ್ಯಾಮಿ ವಿತ್ ನಾನ್ ಫ್ಲೆಜಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಗ್ಯಾಮೆಟ್ಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಗೈಸ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಆನ್ಸರ್ ದಿಸ್ yes be fast the quick response is given by shri suresh as option c good rashmi d answered as sorry rashmi r answered as option d so let me check the answer here okay sanjay m also answered as option c anta so i got a d c as an answers let me check who is right so the right answer is here spirogyra option d is a right answer because in spirogyra sexual reproduction occurs through conjugation gametes are non flagellated that is they will not move morphologically but physiologically they will uh, be different so isogamy with physiological anisogamy is seen so option d is a right answer there ninth question which one of the following is wrong about chara ಖ್ಯಾರಾ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಇರುವ ರಾಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಏನು ಅಪ್ಪರ್ ಊಗೋನಿಯಂ ಅಂಡ್ ಲೋವರ್ ರೌಂಡ್ ಆಂಥಿಡೀಡಿಯಂ ಗ್ಲೋಬ್ಯೂಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ನ್ಯ
Sanjay M answered as option B. Okay, good attempt. What about others? Be fast, be fast, guys. Sanjay M answered it. What about others? So let us check the answer. The right answer is here option C that is upper antheridium lower ugonium. Upper antheridium lower ugonium are no the wrong statement to anta. Ya kendre, Kera is a green algae found attached to the bottoms of shallow water of ponds, uh, ponds, pools and lakes. The male sex organ is called antheridium. Female sex organ is called ugonium. Ugonium is born at the top. So, upper archegonium irate, atwa ugonium irate. Sorry, lower will be antheridium. So, here option C. Option C is a right answer. Now, let us uh, get some information regarding the other part. sphagnum peat moss whatever you are seeing here no this is a bryophyte selaginella terrace dryope terrace ediantum equisitum right then after that pteridophytes so we have pteridophytes here so i want someone to read it rashmi r can you read it please can you just try to read it? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Pteridophyte, pteron, feather, and phyton plants. They are the first terrestrial plants to possess vascular tissues like xylem and phloem. Companion cells, vessels, and secondary growth absent. The pteridophytes are found in cool, damp, shady places, though some may flourish yes. well in sandy soil conditions. In bryophytes, the dominant phase in the life cycle is the gametophytic plant body. However, in pteridophytes, the main plant body is the saprophyte, which is differentiated into true, true root, stem and leaves. Okay. Thank you, Rashmi. Leaf. Okay. Thank you, Rashmi. Yeah. So here, what she said, they are the first terrestrial plants. So, yeah, question kel bodu. First terrestrial plants on the earth are nothing but the pteridophytes. Yeah, kendra. Bryophytes, you can see some of their life cycle in the water. So, which is the first terrestrial plant? That is a pteridophyte. Then after that, yenu absent irate illi. That is the main thing. So, they will ask the question. Simple aya questions kel irtare. Solpa sentence ali hindi munde madritare. Following are the components. Listen here. Following are the components of xylem or phloem, or they can ask. Following are the components of vascular tissues which are absent in pteridophytes. Components of vascular tissues, and what they think? Oh my God, what it is? What that? This, this we will think, right? So don't be in a hurry. Components of vascular tissue and the components of xylem and phloem. Companion cell. A vessel, so vessel comes under xylem. Companion cell will comes under phloem. So companion cell, so matte vessel, so yelli absent irthave, pteridophytes alli absent irathe. Like this, they will ask the question, that's it. So here, the main plant body is sporophyte, but in the bryophyte, the main plant body was gametophyte. Sporophyte it do. In this, you can see true root, stem and as well as leaves okay next so these are the uh, few pteridophytes which you can see around your in your surroundings marsilia annodanna now nortave so some of us will eat that huli huli agirate manelle garden alli you can see that leucostegia truncata blechum oriental adiantum uh, lunulatum and dicranopteris linearis Direnaria quircoclea, then Salaginella species, Teres azola pinnata. So these all are the examples of pteridophytes. 
So when we come to the structure of pteridophytes, these organs possess well differentiated vascular tissues. Well differentiated vascular tissues andre vessels matra illi present irodilla. Trachids will be present here. Trachids are no deni de xylem component to trachids will be present here. Okay. Next, the leaves in pteridophyte are small. Pteridophytes are leaves in agarate, small agarate, microphyll as selaginella or large as macrophylls as in uh, ferns. Ferns are leaves. And the other example is the one selaginella. Selaginella, the leaf, you can see very small leaves. Okay. And one more example is there which is called as ferns. And the ferns are leaves, you can see large leaves. So, otherly, you can see microfills also, micro small, macro large, macro fills also. Fills andre, nen pit koli makle, always fills refers to leaves. Fills anta bandre, leaves anta tilko beko. Ediantum, very important for CD, CET. Ediantum, anno example in the pteridophyte do, it is called as maiden hair fern. It will be very beautiful. I think other picture is anta nortin, yeah. So, idu. Uh, whatever the stalk and the leaves will be there, na, it looks very beautiful. That is why the Kenanta Karitare andre maiden hair fern and Takaritare. So in the olden days they used to uh, put this to their hair. Now here who mutkoti we are iti mutkota idrante. Maiden hair fern and takaritare adiantum. Next, the sporophytes are in the sporophytic body, pteridophyte body ne sporophyte agirate, main plant body. In that body, it will be having some bag-like structure which are called as sporangia. Sporangia and no spore. Spore. And the spore anna hondiru a gia and the bag. So a bag-like or a, a sac-like structure which will be having, okay, which will be having spores. So Sri Suresh asked a question, what do you mean by trachyt santa? Trachids are nothing but the components of xylem. Namu vascular tissues bagge class 10 tali kalti dewe makle. Xylem matte phloem manta. Xylem will transport the water. Phloem will transport the food. Phloem will transport the food. So xylem mali again we will get certain components. Components ikta ve. Trachids so, vessels so, xylem parenchyma. Xylem, uh, sorry, scleran khaima anta. So, it trachids are no do one of the component of xylem. One of the component, and the xylem are no do one to main o. E component, adu trachids are no part anna wala gondi de. So, a trachids are no part in reality rate. This will be like this in the form of a pipes. Pipes are i rate. Sorry, idu vessel side to trachids so just a minute. E rate rate. Like this. So this is the structure of trachids. So, e riti rate with the help of which the transportation of water takes place. Either the modified structure, either the advanced structure, and in healthy way, the advanced structure of trachids is this, which is a vessel. So, e vessel and no do nama e gina gida maragalali angiosperms and in healthy way, vessels are not kanabarate, but in pteridophytes, we can observe trachids only. I hope the doubt is clear. Rashmi, what is its function? Transportation of water. Xylem alluro component and xylem kelsa yinu. Water transportation alva. So, trachids is also involved in transportation of water in pteridophytes. I hope the concept is clear to everyone. Shri Suresh and uh, Rashmi. Yes. Shri Suresh, is it clear? Yes. So, in some cases, sporophylls may form distinct compact structure called strobili or cones. So, ega sporophylls bagge athwa ha. Sporangia anta helidvi. Sporangia that are subtended by a leaf-like appendage is called sporophylls. A sporangia no the spore producing structure eni de. Adu leaf-like structures galinda andre yele taraha iruva structures galinda protect aage ratte. So, antaha structure ge, ah, eletara in iruvantaha structures ge, we will call it as sporophylls anta. In some cases, sporophylls may form distinct compact structure. So, kelvon these two examples galalli, e leaf-like structures ean maartave, they will be very compact. Vandu kondu hath kondu, they will grow. 
which is called as cones. Cone thara kaanas thavevu. Shri Suresh, you did not get me. No, naan heli dartha aitha trekkits concept to. Please do respond. We will be waiting for your response so that we can continue the concept. Did you get the concept of trekkits? Just let me know. Adad mele. The sporangia anno deni ratha. It produces spores by meiosis in spore mother cell. Sporangia thali spore mother cell ratha. That spore mother cell will undergo meiosis <coughs> or a reductional cell division. Fine. So after reductional cell division, after uh, reductional cell division, very good response from uh, Shri Suresh, ma'am. It means primary stage of xylem is trichids. Primary stage anta now hello dilla. It is one of the prim uh, primitive component of xylem anta hell TV. Primitive component of xylem anta hell bodu. As you said, primary stage anta bandaga. Ali now proto xylem, meta xylem, unknown terms anna use martivi. But by the way, we can also accept this, but we can in on the correct agiro word kodbeku anta andre prominent irad al irod alla anta hell bodu. Prominent irade iruag xylem genavu, trachids anta hell TV. I hope it is clear now, Suresh. Shri Suresh. Okay. Yeah. So the sporangia produce spores by meiosis in spore mother cells. Sporangia the leni rathe spore mother cells galu irtave. That spore mother cells will undergo meiotic division or reduction division. Then they produce spores. So spores are haploid in nature. Spores are haploid in nature. Okay. Thank you Shri Suresh for your doubt and the interaction. So a spores germinate, a spores in agate, they will germinate to give rise to inconspicuous, inconspicuous andre, bega name gotta gala. It is not, it will be not grown so clearly, clearly and andre, you cannot uh, identify it soon. Then small but multicellular free living, mostly photosynthetic thyloid gametophyte called prothallus. E spores anno do germinate agi, prothallus anno structure anna. Uh, structure agi develop agate. Then these gametophyte will be requiring cool, damp, shady place to grow because of specific restricted requirement, the need for water for fertilization, the spread of living pteridophytes is uh, limited and restricted to no narrow geographical region. Very nice point. So, in li, e gametophytes so, prothalus agi grow agate. It will be uh, having certain condition and specific conditions tumba important for the growth and development of pteridophytes. Okay. So due to that, tumba specific requirements we cannot see many examples, many species of pteridophytes. And for the fertilization, they need water medium. Okay, so that is why is spread of uh, spores in the pteridophytes dali tumba kadme de. That is why you can see pteridophytes only in restricted geographical region. Yella kade yellu pteridophytes kand baro dilla. Amele. The gametophytes will be having male and female sex organs or sex parts. Male part ge antheridi anta karite ve. Female part ge archegoni anta karite ve. So water is required for transfer of antherozoids. Uh, the male gamete released from the antheridia to the mouth of archegonium. Seed habit first originated in ferns. Pteridophyte the lirua, ferns ali, seed anno, model ne dagi origin nagi du seed, seed habit thara andre, seed in thara structure originate agi du pteridophyte the li, that is in ferns. Fine, uh, reproduction, yes. Sanjayam, can you read out regarding the reproduction part please? Yeah. Can you read, ma'am? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Reproduction. Fusion of male gamete yeah. with the egg present in, in the archegonium result in the formation of zygote. Zygote, therefore, produces a multicellular cell differentiated sporophyte, which is the dominant phase of the pteridophytes. The maturity of the pteridophytes, all the spores are are of similar kids, similar kinds, such such plants are called homosporous genera like 
मैक्रो लार्ज एंड मैक्रो स्मॉल स्पोर्स आर नोन एज हेटेरोपोरस ओके थैंक यू संजय फाइन सो ये रिप्रोडक्शन है क्या करते हैं अंदरे फ्यूजन ऑफ मेल गैमेट विद द एक व्हिच इज प्रेजेंट इन आर्किगोनियम जाइगोट एन आ करते इट प्रोड्यूसेस मल्टीसेल्युलर वेल डिफरेंशिएटेड स्पोरोफाइट व्हिच इज अ डोमिनेंट फेज डोमिनेंट फेज अंदरे अदरे जीवित अवधि अल्ली अदे जास्ती जास्ती स्ट्रक्चर कोन लाइक स्ट्रक्चर आ कोन लाइक स्ट्रक्चर अल्ली ये निर्ता वे स्पोरेंजिया निर्ता वे ओके द कोन लाइक स्ट्रक्चर अल्ली स्पोरेंजिया अंदरे स्पोर अन्ना इट्टू कोंडेरुवा बैग लाइक स्ट्रक्चर निर्ता इन दैट स्पोरेंजिया स्पोर मदर सेल्स विल बी प्रेजेंट व्हिच आर आल्सो डिप्लोइड इन नेचर सो आ स्पोर मदर सेल्स ये निर्ता वे दिस विल अंडरगो मीयोसिस इस पोर्स को जर्मिनेट आगे प्रोथालस है ना प्रोड्यूस मारता है वे विच इस कॉल्ड एस गैमेटोफाइट ओके विच इस कॉल्ड एस गैमेटोफाइट दिस प्रोथालस विल बी हैविंग टू पार्ट्स वन इस एंथरेडियम द अदर वन इस आर्किगोनियम ये श्री सुरेश हैज अ डाउट अगेन सो ही आस्क्ड रिगार्डिंग व्हाट इस पोरोफाइट ओ माय गॉड Sporophyte andre diploid in condition idre. If the body of an organism is diploid in condition, that is double set of chromosome two n anta idaga. That is called as sporophyte. Please focus, focus on the terminologies, guys. Okay na? Then prothallus in madate. It produces sex organs. That is the female sex part is called as archegonium. Male sex part is called as antheridium. Antheridium produces male gamete, which is called antherozoid. Egg produce made the archegonium. Or fertilization agate zygote is formed, embryo is formed, and again from the embryo the plant will be germinated. Itu sexual reproduction hai to. A sexual reproduction li the equisitum will develop tubers, tube like structure, tube like uh, structures. Adu uh, when it comes in contact with the soil, it will grow as a equisitum this is a asexual vegetative reproduction method i do see this these are the sporangia what you can see fine so let us discuss some questions now mm -hmm. just a minute Yes, who is going to answer this question first? Which of the following is responsible for peat formation? Peat formation ge responsible agirua example yaudu Markensia, Rixia, Funaria. Yes, my dear YouTube students, do respond. Funaria and Sphagnum. Yaudu peat formation ge use ago anta ha example. Yes, who is going to answer this? Just now we discussed. Bega. Yes, YouTube students. Which of the following is responsible for peat formation?
quick answer is given by Rashmi. Okay. Very good. Yes. Fine. So the right answer is here. Option D. Spagnum. Spagnum annu dena girathe. Peat formation. Ge peat andre enu madam anta andaga. To transport uh, what we can say that small plants. Tumba chikka da giro plantlets anta yen kari tevi. So chikka da giro plants anna transfer maadu vaga. We cannot keep it in a large what you can say pots and send it or transport it. So, the moisture content early and the roots of the plantlets will be very sukshma uh, very sensitive. So that will be attached with this peat. Peat and right, this is a moss, right? So moss and attached mele, what that peat will do? It will absorb or it will hold the moisture. So that it will be providing the water to that plantlet. So that is the example is sphagnum. Very important. Sphagnum is a right answer. Yes, sphagnum a moss provides peat that has long been used as fuel. Agunu adana use martare in thananta helbaudu. It can retain water. Adar idu quality enu guna lakshana inu andre. It can hold the water for the longer periods. So it will be used to cover the plant roots during the transportation. Okay, eleventh question goes like this. An algae that can be employed as food for the human beings. One algae there, other na uh, human beings so food agi upyogus bodu. Eulothrix, chlorella, spirogyra, polysiphonia. B first. Eulothrix, chlorella, spirogyra, polysiphonia. Yes, th how three students are present here and two students in the YouTube. Yes. Yes, guys, respond it soon. Yes, the answer at least. Okay, Shri Suresh answered it. Sanjayam answered it. Good going, guys. Good going. So, most of you, both of you voted for option B. Chlorella, it is a right answer. Chlorella, Jate Spirulina. Iveradu kuda unicellular algae, they both are rich in proteins. So they are used as food supplements by space travelers. Next question. In which of the following gametophyte is not independent free living? Gametophyte yaudrali independent agilla. Markensia, terris, pinus, funeria. Yes. In which of the following gametophyte is not independent? Quick answer is given by Rashmi. Good. What about others? Be fast, guys. Be fast. Yes, Shri Suresh, Sanjayam. What is your response on it, guys? Shri Suresh voted for option D. Sanjay voted for option C. Okay, let us check the answer. The right answer is here. Option C. Pinus. So it is rightly answered by yeah. Sanjay. Pinus alena girate. Gametophyte free living agiro dilanta. Just a minute. Pinus belongs to gymnosperm in which male and female gametophytes do not have an independent free living existence. Avena girtave. Parent body alle they will be growing and they will be developing. So they remain within the sporangia, which are of two types. Microsporangia matte megasporangia anta. So option C, pinus annodu correct ada uttara. Next question. Uh, read the following five statements. Kela gade aida statement anna kotti dare. And you have to uh, select the option with all correct statements. Yava options ali correct statements idhe annodu na helbeko. First statement is mosses and lichens are the first organism to colonize on the rock. Selaginella is a homosporous pteridophyte. Coralide roots in cycas have warm tissue. Then main plant body in bryophyte is gametophytic, whereas pteridophyte is uh, sporophytic. In gymnosperms, male and female gametophyte are present within sporangia located on sporophyte, which is a correct statement. Mm -hmm. Yes, be fast.
बी फास्ट गाइज बी फास्ट ओके और द क्विक आंसर इज गिवन बाय संजय सो ही वोटेड फॉर ऑप्शन डी अंता व्हाट अबाउट अदर्स गुड रश्मि वोटेड फॉर ऑप्शन बी ओके लेट मी चेक द आंसर हियर द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी ए डी मते ई ए डी मते ई सी ए नागिदे कोलराइड रूट्स ಅಲ್ಲಿ वैन टिश्यू ಇರೋದಿಲ್ಲಾ ಅದೇ ರೀತಿ इनोंद यावदु A, D, B. Selaginella is a homosporous and it is not homosporous. It is a heterosporous pteridophyte. So, A, D and E is a right answer. Next question. Male gametes are flagellated in. इ केड़गड़े इरुवा याव एग्जाम्पल्स अल्ली male gametes हु flagellated. अंदरे मोटाई लागिर्तावे. Yes, male gametes are flagellated in regarding the van i will be letting you know ee slide alle nan helbeku ee part dalle i will be letting you know it is a wide concept so elaborate agi nan helbekagide okay rashmi yeah male gametes are flagellated in male gametes hu yava example alli motile agirtave yes guys who is going to answer this first rashmi answered it as option c motile agirtave anta kelidare sanjay m answered as option c c spirogyra bagge na eshtu questions solve madidivi alva so spirogyra dalli non motile gametes irtave makkale non motile means which are not flagellated which are not which will not move so in ectocarpus alli enide मेल गैमेट आर फ्लैजलेटेड इन एक्टो कार्पस एक्टो कार्पस अनो दो पायो पैसी ये ब्राउन अलगे अली कांस को लते दे पोसेस हेटरोकॉन्ट लैटरल फ्लैजला लैटरल आगे फ्लैजला इरोद के हेटरोकॉन्ट अंता हेल्ता रहे सो ऑप्शन बी इस अ राइट आंसर यस फिफ्टीन क्वेश्चन विच ऑन वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट Agar agar is obtained from gelidium and gracilaria. Chlorella and spirulinia are used as a space food. Manitol is stored food in rhodophyceae. Algin and keratin are products of algae. Yes, which is the wrong statement? Economic importance of algae the lead in a cult is vinabu. Yes, what is your response, guys? <coughs> Please, Suresh answered it. Very good option. C and the healthy dare. Very good. Which one of the following statement is wrong? Anta. Okay, I got one more response from Rashmi as option C. Okay, so let us check the answer here. Manitol is stored food in Rhodophyceae. Manitol or Laminaria is the stored food in Phyophyceae. Rhodophyceae, red algae dalala. फयोफैसिए वळगे मॅनिटोल और लॅमिनेरियन यांना स्टोर्ड फूड ಆಗಿ ಕಂಡ ಬರ್ತದೆ ಸೋ ಮ್ಯಾನಿಟೋಲ್ ಆರ್ ಲ್ಯಾಮಿನೇರಿಯನ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಫಯೋಫೈಸಿಎ ನಾಟ್ ಇನ್ ರೋಡೋಫೈಸಿಎ ಗುಡ್ ಅಟೆಂಪ್ಟ್ ಗೈಸ್ ಸೋ ಇನ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ವೈಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಅಪ್ ದ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಕಿಂಗ್ಡಮ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಕಿಂಗ್ಡಮ್ ಅನ್ನು ನಾವು ಮುಗಿಸ್ತೇವೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಓಕೆನಾ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಅನಿಮಲ್ ಕಿಂಗ್ಡಮ್ ಫೈನ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಮಿ ಎಂಡ್ ಅಪ್ ದ ಸೆಷನ್ ಹಿಯರ್